He's a good uh, tenant. He pays his bills on time for that headspace. Right. But you know what? Gonz is gonna move on. You know, he's gonna he's gonna transfer his uh apartment into a little house as he has to go against Jackal. The uh, repeat this, of this is this is sentence. a double jeopardy over here. Jackal sent him to the losers bracket. Let's go dark matter. Okay, man. Oh um interesting that we're gonna see Gonz, Gonz and Watch. Gonz and Watch coming back into effect and after what we saw in winter semis, it wasn't a bad pick it was, at all. It was real close, but um, towards the end of that game three, Jackal did have a really good uh, lead. He did seem to have adapted fully, but only Gons knows what he has to fix in this game. This is a uh, loser's finals right now, guys. We win still this best one, of three. By still the way. best of three. Unfortunate, but you know what? Um, both these players won't have time to adapt in a best three out of five. So whatever happens here, you have to adapt as quick as possible. Both players know each other in and out, but it's all about who can strike first. And right now, Gons is just abusing the fact that uh, Game of Watch's up B is a two frame out of shield option. That's right, you heard me right. It's a two frame out of shield option. So you thought Bowser's punishment was uh, obnoxious with his up B? This is, this is much worse. Yeah. Literally, even out of combos, he could just it's a get out jail free car. It's a combo starter. It's his bread and butter. Oh, oh my calls goodness. him, calls what? Gons out and just Sokka kicks him into the uprights. Yeah, just, just punts him out. Punts him out and with good percentage to work with. Only 66% done on Jackal right now. He's looking real good this game one. And I definitely feel like Gons needs to watch out for what he fishes for. He fish, He's starting to fish for a lot of down smashes. And he just wouldn't take any grabs. And that's what ended up costing him a... Uh, oh my oh, he gosh, doesn't get the spike he hitbox. Spike. That was sick movement, though, coming in from Gans. And he's looking real... Well, he's looking to bring this back, but... Um, Jackal just one step ahead of him with these shields. Understanding that Game Watch wants to down smash or f tilt or even up B out of shield. And Jack was not allowing it to happen right now. And I feel like that that's the issue right now, is that Gans is conditioning Jackal to shield, but then he's not mixing it up and then going for grabs. He's not threatening, even though, like, Jackal doesn't really have anything to worry about the grabs, but still, you gotta, you gotta make this man, like, want to spot dodge so you can open up your better options. That and Gaz is not doing that at all, and it's just making it easy for, uh, for Jackal to just play the neutral. Gons, and the only thing Gons right. can really do is just force him off stage and then no just way. go for those. Oh my gosh. Nah. I was expecting that hammer to come out sooner, but it you know what? He brought it back easily. Right right after taking that stock, easily bringing it back to even. And then some. We're still going to rack up damage. Oh, barely misses Franklin. He's like, get off of me. Hey, it's Franklin. Nice up. He's like, you thought you could punish this down smash? No. I am unpunishable. Oh, bye bye. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Down smash into forward smash is a killer for <laughs> for Game of Watch. A lot of bonfire and start the Thanksgiving dinner because we've got roasted wolf tonight. And as Gons uh, takes the lead in this game one, let's see how he manages to hold on to it. Back Ooh, throw. Nice, nice drop down grab. Back throws him. Up B's to delay his landing even further. Ah, misses the dash grab. Another whiff, but... Oh, Gons wanted to go for it all right there. Not going to hit it, and he's going to get punished for it. Punished for... A misconfirming the rapid jab. But you know what? Another grab, and if he's able to get the DI mix-up, he can go for another hammer and hope that it hits a 9. It can kill depending on what, what side of the stage he's in. See, at this point, it would kill regardless if he grabs it and hits him with it. Yeah, at this point, yeah. Definitely right now. But the question is, what is going through Gons' mind? What does he have to do? Because these upbeat confirms are not working, but that dare is looking so phenomenal in this set. This set. And I feel like Gons right now, his lack of use of grab to just like, even threaten or just try to mix Jackal, really is making it oh easy. Oh my goodness. You're just gonna Franklin get smacked. Franklin whiffs and... The Gons who cried wolf is gonna be down a game and Jackal's still looking really clean. So what does what does Gons do in this situation? Use where more, he's use more grabs. Um, I say switch out of game watch. It's not working out in your favor right now, Gons. Are we gonna opt? Yep, yeah. we're gonna see the Palatina he come back wanna, out. 
I, I respect that he doesn't want to risk his entire tournament life on a secondary character that he just really plays for fun. Even though it is a very fun character. Like, sometimes you just need to uh, change the character, change the matchup. But Jackal, well aware of this matchup. He's played it God knows how many times. Yeah, when you live in Tri-State, this is the only matchup you're going to play almost every tournament you go to. You're always going to come across one Wolf. You're either going to come across one Palu, maybe two, depending how far you can break, make it out of bracket. So it's not something unfamiliar for both competitors, but it's all about who can manage stage control and keep their composure in this game. Right now, for a sensor even, nice parry and he immediately goes for a rising there. And now we're going to see like the classic Gon's ledge trap. Oh, he didn't believe in that uh, down tilt to hit. Tries to go across with that fair, but wasn't far enough. And just the long standing grab reach. Apollo was able to just keep him in the corner. Now, Jackal's finally out of the corner. Now he can run away, but he's down a deficit. And he has to figure out how he can attack uh, percent safely and just play the game. Nice spot dodge coming in from Gans. Oh, misses the grab, gets jabbed out. And I definitely feel like Jackal really needs to, uh, ooh, goes for a hard call out to try to two frame with that, uh, that down smash at the ledge. So the Gons has a slight lead right now. It's 114 to 79. Uh, misses the up air, but he's going to go for a fourth throw. And falling there isn't enough to take it. Misses the, the auto reticle. Interesting to go for auto reticles, especially in that in that situation. I thought he would go for down tilt or something to secure a, so a stock, but it's not going to happen that way. Oh, he drifts too close, and Jacko, recognizing he can go for this and still be safe, just throws out a very needy dash attack, and that's going to catch him. All right. Wow, that dodge. explosive flame just barely missing, but he's not going to miss the punish there. All right, even Stevens right now. Yeah, this is as even as it's going to get. But the Nair is coming out like crazy from Gans. He just wants dodges, but doesn't really punish the whiff grab attack. All right, there's the whiff dash attack. It's going to be decent. Yeah, a little extra damage coming in from Jackal right now. Going to rack it up even more right now. Put Gans in a really bad predicament. And Gans just throwing out Nairs after Nairs, and they're not connecting whatsoever. Nice up air. Now, right now, the sharking from Jackal is really what's keeping the momentum in his favor. Like, now he actually has a chance to punish this character. Oh, see, he's able to go for more trades because he knows he can force these and catches the landing with forward tilt. Force the jump. Oh, no punish. Well, I like the option coming in from Jackal. He's going right. to grab him once again. Forward a forward throw. Interesting. Yeah, he can only go for a forward throw or a down throw. He doesn't want to stale the back throw until he knows he's going to kill. Oh, but an up tilt's going to seal the stock. Another punt to the face on the goddess herself. And right now, Gons is on his last stock. Yeah, and what could be his tournament stock right now, unless he decides to Down throw, get his dash head in the game. Nice throw away. Now see Gons from the corner of, of my eye. He just adjusted his seat. He's focused. He's 100% focused, but it looks like that focus is not paying off whatsoever as he's getting racked up damage. Oh! oh nice call out. Jesus! Oh, oh yeah, he's, he's done. That's what he wanted last stock. He finally got it this time. 82% on Gons. He can still make this back. He just got to play this uh, close to the chest right now. He yeah, can't the, overextend. The determination in Gons' face right now is saying it all. If you can see his face, you see what he's Two. trying to go for. Goes and now for these, a backer this time. DI this, mix up. These combos are finally confirming for Gons the way he wanted them to, but it's only 41 to 104. It's still in Jackal's favor. Oh, going for a raw up smash, but it's going to miss. Oh, and the punish. Well, what's going to happen here? Oh, no two-frame punish for Jacko. But center stage got in Gonza's favor right now. Goes for an up throw. Weird mix-up. Back not, throw. He's not going to kill just yet. I would have personally down thrown him. Oh. Keep him onto the right side of the stage. That dash attack had to be a miss input for Jacko. It's not what he wanted. And now he's going to get punished for it. He has no jump. This is exactly where Gans wants you. At 76% with max rage. And not going to matter it out all. once more with the up tilt. Gans is not happy about yeah, that. But yeah, Gans is going to walk out. But respectable 